Well, I don't think we'd want to be anywhere but here tonight. Perfect playing conditions, great night for football at the King Power Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Leicester City up against Southampton. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And they have possession again. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Yuri Tiedemanns plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Amarte. And unable to keep possession. Lookman. Opportunity. Water by the post. It did look on for them, but not to be. Well, they won't come closer than that. So unlucky not to take the lead there. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Can they trouble the opposition this time? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And here's how it looks for Southampton. James Ward-Prowse starts with Oriol Romeo in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it could be for grabs. And he's taken it away. Well, the keeper's made a good save, but you just sense a goal is coming soon. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. And he was in the right place to intercept. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. And he read it well defensively. He's forward and the break looks on. But they dealt with the threat first. This is looking threatening. Elianusi. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Played over. Well, nothing comes of it. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Madison. You'll take efforts like that all day long. Well, the stats tell us everything. They just aren't doing enough going forward. They've been too predictable and far too slow in their build-up play. They need to do something different to get the breakthrough.
Good tackle. And a throw in forthcoming. Tielemans. Daka. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Walker Peters. Speculative ball fired to the first. The first half here comes to an end. Well, he's got a few things right in this first half, but not everything. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Ndidi. Daka. Madison with it. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Stuart Armstrong. And possibilities here. Opportunity to take the lead. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. And back with Thomas. Ndidi. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. Harvey Barnes. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And we have 30 minutes to go. Decent position. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. And that is going to be a free kick. In position here to protect the ball. Failed to keep hold of it. But he keeps going. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. James Madison. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really.
Well, it's been difficult for Southampton to get too much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Ndidi. No advantage with them. Referee says play on. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Well, we're in the dying moments of the game now, and Leicester still narrowly behind. Time is running out for them, Stuart. Well, it's been tight, but they've lacked a cutting edge. They've done well at the back and in midfield, but the final pass, the short old cross, have lacked that bit of quality. Can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? Well, let's see an attacking position. It's not too late for them, but really sticking to the task defensively. And then with a real chance. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. with more than a bit of danger following that matchup already booked now they are to intercept level pegging but can they change that team the bands Teams are level, and every corner counts at this juncture. Playing it in, relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Team Le Mans, magnificent goalkeeping and still their level. Well it's a top slave and it's an important one as well Derek. That would have been it had that gone in. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And the whistle is sounded, and these two teams are locked together.